Hey everybody, this is Dr. Sanders at Minuteman Medicine. It is now October of 2022 and it has been quite some time since I have done a video, uh, but thought I'd get back to it and do a quick video tonight on magnesium deficiency. Magnesium deficiency is a fairly common problem and we see quite a bit of it here. Um, there are many different signs and symptoms for magnesium deficiency, including muscle cramps or twitches, uh, insomnia, anxiety, migraines, constipation, chronic fatigue, hypertension, and uh, maybe irritability. Those are all pretty common uh, causes, or I'm sorry, pretty common uh, signs and symptoms of magnesium deficiency. Uh, other things that you might get are um, potentially get some uh, palpitations or uh, PMS symptoms, irritable bowel syndrome, um, sensitivity to loud noises. So there's a whole bunch of different things that uh, are related to magnesium deficiency. If, if you think that you were to have magnesium deficiency or maybe had some of these various signs and symptoms, uh, the way you would test for it is to get a red blood cell magnesium level. Magnesium is mostly intracellular, meaning that it's inside the cells in the body, and so getting a regular blood level is just not terribly helpful. Uh, you could potentially have a normal blood level of magnesium and be depleted inside your cells. If your blood level comes back low, then you're probably really depleted of magnesium. Uh, also, you don't necessarily even have to test for it, you can just treat. Um, it's uh, uh, one of those electrolyte deficiencies that you can treat pretty easily with uh, uh, supplements and and uh, just see what the result is. Um, there are uh, a number of uh, causes, uh, mainly uh, a bad diet. Uh, our diet here in the Western Hemisphere is uh, really pretty bad. Uh, our foods grown in soil that's depleted of nutrients a lot of our food, maybe the majority of it nowadays, is uh, genetically modified, which really has a huge impact on it. The uh, animals that we eat are injected with saline and hormones and antibiotics and stored in terrible conditions. And so there's a lot of reasons that our diet plays into not just magnesium deficiency, but deficiency overall of many nutrients. But some of the main things that you can see that will deplete your magnesium are coffee, soft drinks, uh, alcohol, sugar, um, if you take a lot of antibiotics, if you are under a lot of stress, um, potentially taking other medicines like, uh, like diuretics, uh, maybe you sweat a lot, things like that. Those are, will all deplete uh, magnesium levels. Uh, things that are good to eat that are high in magnesium would be things like nuts, like almonds, uh, Seeds are very high. Dark chocolate's a very good source. Seaweed. So the main way to get your magnesium level up would be to eat a good diet. Uh, I know most people in, uh, in America, their diet's not very good. And so most people in America would need to, to supplement with some type of magnesium. So what do you do if you are uh, deficient in magnesium? Well, you'd want to, like I said, eat a better diet or you can potentially supplement with magnesium supplements. So there's various kinds. The normal kind of magnesium you see at uh, Walmart, CVS, things like that is probably going to be magnesium citrate, magnesium carbonate, um, and magnesium oxide. And so those three are not terribly well absorbed. They mainly stay in your GI tract, and those are used for constipation. So magnesium citrate is the uh, one that you see in the green bottles or the clear bottles uh, that are liquid. The magnesium oxide comes in a uh, normal little uh, uh, vial or container, or whatever, uh, and the magnesium carbonate also. But those are not well absorbed, stay in the GI tract, and essentially would help with constipation. So if you have constipation or ir irritable bowel syndrome, those would probably be a good choice. If you have other issues like muscle cramps or the palpitations or the blood pressure problems uh, or even anxiety, you want to get one of the other forms. And so this particular form here, let's see if you can see that there, is uh, magnesium glycinate. 
So that's a, a real good form of magnesium. It's absorbed well, and uh, that would help any of those problems I just mentioned. Uh, the other form of magnesium that's really good is called magnesium threonate. And if you had anxiety, blood pressure, cramps, things like that, this one is, is probably my favorite choice. It, it, it is the most expensive one, but it uh, actually crosses the blood-brain barrier a little better than the glycinate that I just showed you and, and may be more beneficial for those with anxiety, irritability, things like that. Those are the, the basic forms of magnesium that you can get and just a quick rundown on the signs, symptoms and how you test for it. And you know, again, you don't necessarily need to test. You could just get magnesium and, and, and see how you do, start taking it. Um, the magnesiums that I mentioned about getting the CVS and Walmart, those are all the cheapest forms of magnesium. Uh, this glycinate that I just showed you is kind of a mid-range. It runs somewhere between about, you know, around $15, I guess. And the magnesium 3 and 8 is in the upper 20s, low 30s uh, for, I think you can get a 90 count uh, container. Uh, and, and the dosage you'd want to take is is somewhere in the three, 400 milligram range is a good starting point. This uh, magnesium uh, glycinate here is 120 milligrams and the instructions on the vial here say to take one to uh, four uh, capsules a day. There's 90 in here and again, this is about $16. So you could start off with one, see how you feel. If you need to bump up to two, three, even four, some people may need up to a thousand milligrams for a while of uh, magnesium uh, to really get to feeling better. But uh, Anyway, hope that was uh, helpful. Uh, again, work on your diet. I think that'd be the best choice. But if not, you can uh, certainly get some of these uh, magnesium supplements. And if you need help with them or need a place to get them, uh, we can help out with that. Uh, and we also, uh, one of the sites we use, if patients order, they can get a 20% uh, discount. So anyway, hope y'all are having a good night. Hope this was helpful. If there's anything we can do for you, let us know. Good talking to you. We'll see you soon.